You've said in other light podcasts that I can't do, and I've found this to be true. What good does it do for me to continue to put forth effort when failure is almost guaranteed? This is such a great question because it's not the kind of question that people generally ask. It's the kind of question that people live. They don't ask it. They just assume that that's the way it is. And they use it as an excuse to not work, to slack off, to take a vacation, to basically devalue the work. So really what it is, is it's a question that comes from despair. And we all despair from time to time. Why is that? Well, because we all have false personality. Now, I'm being kind and not saying we are all false personality. The truth is we are all false personality is what we are. The work says right up front, everything is false personality. Now, find what isn't. Well, that's a contradiction, isn't it? If everything is false personality, you can't find what isn't because there isn't anything that isn't. But the work states that to counterbalance our incredible arrogance and pride and this illusion that we have built up, that false personality has built up and in which we live. And that helps to counter that great weight that is constantly dragging us lower and lower. It's like we're trying to swim with cement shoes on. The whole idea is that we really are being dragged toward something that is worse than what we now have. We're not evolving into angelic beings, people. Look at the planet. There, I, I love, I love the discoveries that archaeologists are making these days and scientists are making these days. They're finding that 2,500 years ago, people were smarter than they are today. This is so annoying to our arrogance and our pride and our vanity that we are willing to cut off our noses despite our faces. We're willing to turn a deaf ear and a blind eye to what people had 2,500 years ago, if it was better than what we have. We're willing to go without it to prove that we're smarter, that we're better. There's a real problem with that. And so the work says, everything is false personality, now find what isn't. If you begin to realize that the work means you good, it doesn't mean you harm. Nature means you harm. But from nature's point of view, it's not harm at all. It's just what you're for. You're food. You are cattle. You are sheep. So nature's purpose is simply to feed you to what you were raised to feed. That's all. The same way that we grow corn and we put it in granaries after we harvest it, we put it in granaries and then we feed it to animals. And why do we do that? Well, to fatten them up. Well, why do we do that? so that we can feed those animals to other animals. That's what we do here. That's what everything does in nature. That is the natural flow of things. So when I, when, when someone asks you not to eat meat, to be a vegetarian, it's like they're asking you to do something that is unnatural. It's unnatural for you to do that. It's also unnatural for you to develop beyond your animalistic self. It's unnatural for you not to strangle people who get in your way. It's unnatural for you not to crack their skulls open when they make you angry. That's not natural. What is natural for you is to pick up a leg bone from whatever it is you just gnawed all the meat off of. And if someone gets in your way or tries to steal the other leg bone, for you to crack their skull open with it. That's what's natural for you. If you want to live a natural life, don't do anything. Success is guaranteed. But. If you want to develop beyond that to what you could be, to this other potential that you have, then success is not guaranteed, but failure is almost always guaranteed. So we go back to our question, which is, you said another light podcast that I can't do, and I have found this to be true. What good does it do for me to continue to put forth effort when failure is almost guaranteed? You may not be able to accomplish the task, but if you set your goal high enough, you may get higher than where you started off. So you better your condition. You better your circumstances. You may not be able to stop cracking skulls everywhere you go when somebody grabs your steak, but you may be able to slow it down some and only crack half as many skulls. That's 
progress, people. That's all we're looking for here. Everything is false personality. Everything is natural. Everything is going in that direction, which is not a good direction. It's the direction that feeds the war machine on this planet. It's the direction that feeds the drug addictions on this planet. It's the direction that feeds murder, theft, crime. It's not a good direction. Why is that? Because it's self-destructive. Well, so what? We're all going to die anyway, which is true. So if you want success, take that path. It's guaranteed. You will get to the grave. You won't have to do anything. You won't have to make any effort, none to speak of. You won't have to make any effort outside of the natural effort that we need to make. You're going to have to lift your, once you get your hand in the bowl, you're going to have to lift it to your face to put the food in your mouth. You're going to have to do that. You don't have to make effort to breathe. That's done for you. You don't have to make effort to digest the food once you get it in there. That's done for you. You don't have to make effort to circulate your blood. That's done for you. You don't have to make effort to beat your heart. That's done for you. So fortunately, most everything is done for us so that we can make it to the grave without, an, without too much difficulty. On the way, we will suffer mightily because that serves the purpose of the machine that's running things. Because all that suffering is food. It's energy for something else. Something else is savoring that. Mmm, a little salt, a little pepper, that's pretty good. Could we have another war, please, so that more people, more millions could suffer? A little hollandaise sauce on that, and it's just delightful. For something, I don't know what, I don't care what, but everything's eating something. We can see that in scale. Failure is almost guaranteed. Yes, failure is almost guaranteed when you consider if you're shooting for 10 and you only get 3, you have failed by 7. But if you look at it from the other point of view, you've just made... It's two strides forward, or three strides forward, depending on where you saw yourself, if you saw yourself at one. Now, of course, what happens is we see ourselves at 10, when we're actually at zero, we shoot for 20, <laughs> we get two, and we really feel depressed. But it's only because we're living in this illusion that we're somewhere where we're not. And so the work aims at removing that to give us an even playing field so that we can actually start 